Prior to the 2021 season, Major League Baseball stated that the league would be monitoring baseballs as close as ever in an effort to prevent pitchers from using foreign substances on the baseball. What MLB said exactly is that they would inspect baseballs taken out of play, using a third-party lab to check for illegal substances, and in addition to that, they would utilize StatCast data for spin rate analysis. In a game last month, St. Louis Cardinals reliever Giovanni Gallegos was ordered to change hats after umpires noticed a foreign substance on the bill of his hat. A couple weeks before that, a minor league pitcher was ejected and suspended 10 games for using a foreign substance while pitching. And as of now, three more pitchers have been suspended for using a foreign substance on the baseball to help increase their spin rate and velocity. There are stars in the league that have been using it and average pitchers that have been turned into elite ones because of it. So what is Major League Baseball going to do about this entire situation? Take a second to like this video and if you're new to the channel and end up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for future baseball content. For the last three years, spin rate has gone up drastically. Strikeouts are up, overall offense is down across baseball, and it has been said that multiple foreign substances have been used across the league in order to improve pitching. Pine tar is always the first two words that people bring up in this case, but teams are using far more advanced substances resulting in this drastic increase in spin rate and overall lack of offense. According to MLB Network insider John Hammond, MLB is quote-unquote alarmed at the number of suspicious baseballs collected thus far into the 2021 season. Hammond also reported that MLB owners plan to discuss new ways to crack down on foreign concoctions being used by pitchers to boost spin rates during meetings on Thursday. Major League Baseball has yet to suspend any of its players so far into the season for using a foreign substance, although they said they would if something came up. MLB's exact memo from March stated that players are subject to discipline, quote unquote, regardless of whether evidence of the violation has been discovered during or following a game. Like I said, no big league pitcher has gotten suspended from either scenario yet. But other pitchers have. A couple weeks before Cardinals pitcher Giovanni Gallegos was told to switch hats, White Sox minor league pitcher Marcus Evie received a 10-game ban from Major League Baseball after he was ejected from a May 13th game when umpires discovered a foreign substance. Mason Ingler, a Rangers pitching prospect at low A down east, was ejected in the fourth inning of his start on May 30th against Fredericksburg for having a foreign substance detected on his belt. He was subsequently suspended for 10 games beginning on June 1st, which is the expected discipline for violating MLB Rule 6.02. Two other players were suspended 10 games after being busted recently. Other White Sox minor leaguers Sal Baisi and Kai Wei Tang, who is in the San Francisco Giants organization. As for the major leagues, with no pitchers having been suspended, there have already been six no-hitters thrown. The record for a single season is seven, and there are no-hit bids going on seemingly every other night. John Means of the Baltimore Orioles, one of the guys who have thrown a no-hitter this season, has been caught on camera multiple times fiddling around with his glove before he's about to throw a pitch, clearly getting some sort of sicky substance on his fingers. Wade Miley of the Cincinnati Reds threw a no-hitter. I know no-hitters are random and anyone can throw them randomly at any given time, and I don't mean to be rude, but if Wade Miley is throwing a no-hitter, something is definitely wrong with baseball. When Trevor Bauer went to the Cincinnati Reds, he wasn't necessarily looked at as one of the game's best. Now he is. Why? Because he has been working hard on researching the best possible foreign substance to improve the movement on his pitches, and it worked. Once Bauer arrived in Cincinnati to join the Reds, he went from a pretty good starter to an ace, and magically everyone else on the Reds' pitching staff started to gain RPMs on their fastball as well. Bauer went on to win the National League Cy Young Award and received the single most AAV or in other words, money per year any player has ever gotten in a single season and did so with the Los Angeles Dodgers, and has been incredible so far in 2021. Magically, just like it happened in 2020 with the Reds when they had Bauer as their teammate, spin rates have gone up throughout the Dodgers pitching staff, and don't you dare think this is some strange coincidence. Ace pitcher Garrett Cole started using an incredibly sticky substance when he went to the Houston Astros and it worked wonders. In just a year, he became one of the best pitchers in the game of baseball. Prior to 2018, the most strikeouts that Garrett Cole ever got in a single season was 202. In 2018, his first year with Houston, Cole struck out 276 hitters 
80 more than he did in 2017. And then in 2019, Cole went out and struck out 326 hitters. Pitchers like Justin Verlander and Charlie Morton also revamped their careers in Houston by spinning the baseball better than ever. And this played a big part in the Astros' incredible success those years that Cole was there along with Verlander and Morton. The drastic uptick in spin rate, velocity, strikeouts, and low ERA earned Cole the biggest contract for a pitcher in baseball history. And Cole has not stopped dominating ever since he put on pinstripes, having a great 2020 campaign and now an even better one to kick off 2021. During the month of May, however, like I talked about earlier, there were several incidents of minor league players being caught using some sort of foreign substance, ejected, and suspended 10 games, along with the Gallegos incident in the majors. There then is the meeting that owners recently had, which brought up the topic of pitchers' use of foreign substances. MLB then announced that the penalty for getting caught with a foreign substance is now a 10-game suspension, which it's been all along, but they're going to be starting to enforce it, meaning things could start to get real and won't see as much talk but more action instead. Garrett Cole must have saw this and panicked because the very day that this was announced by the league, he gave up five earned runs on as many hits, including a home run and walk two against the Tampa Bay Rays. Going into that start, Cole hadn't allowed more than two runs in a start this season. Makes you think. I don't mean to sit here and single out Garrett Cole or Trevor Bauer though, because countless amounts of players across major and minor league baseball are using foreign substances to better their spin rates. Cole and Bauer are just two guys who pretty much are perfect examples of extremely successful products of these foreign substances taking over the game. A few years ago, as of let's say 2017, nobody really cared about Garrett Cole or did they about Trevor Bauer. Now, seemingly every baseball fan and their mother are talking about those two guys, as their success has earned them fame, money, and influence around the game. I mentioned Garrett Cole's ex-teammate Justin Verlander as he's one of the best examples of someone who totally changed after he was introduced to the advanced foreign substances. It was looking like Verlander was on the back end of his career, regressing and just not pitching the same way he used to. He was still a good pitcher, just not the Justin Verlander we all came to know for the last decade. He then got traded to Houston and everything changed. His numbers flew off the charts pitching his way to a 1.06 ERA with the Astros in the regular season that year and played a huge part in the Astros winning the World Series that year along with what of course we all know now is the sign stealing scandal that took place between the hitters. Verlander went on to have a great 2018 season alongside new teammate Garrett Cole making it to the All-Star game. In 2019, Verlander went through a no-hitter, his second in Toronto, and then won the American League Cy Young Award. That's an example of a former elite pitcher turning back into an elite pitcher, but there's also guys you have never heard of prior to this season who are as good as ever. They have gained a significant amount of RPMs on the baseball, striking out hitters higher than ever, and are all around just having elite stuff that they've never had before. With strikeouts as high as ever and offense down, this has a lot more to do with the overall product on the field rather than the morals of playing the game of baseball the right way. Sure, playing by the rules is important, but in this case the entertainment of baseball and what fans value is more essential. Everyone can agree that more strikeouts, less home runs, and less runs scored is more boring and less fun to watch as a fan. Even future Hall of Fame pitcher Clayton Kershaw has even stated that the amount of no-hitters this season is not good for the game. So what is Rob Manfred and Major League Baseball going to do about it? Start to take matters seriously and not tolerate anyone who gets caught with a foreign substance. The four minor league pitchers that have been suspended are a message to the Major League pitchers, as it's basically an experiment. Anytime the league wants to test out a new possible rule, they do so in the minor leagues first, and this is certainly one of those tests. So beware, MLB pitchers, because things are about to get real if you continue to use sticky foreign substances. At least that's what MLB is implying. Let me know what you think about all this and thank you for watching.